Thinking back on season two of Thomas and Friends, one of my favorites, one of the things that always stuck out to me was the inclusion of side characters and the roles they would take in stories, the personalities they would take on. Arguably, this was one of the better times for character development. And one of the characters I've enjoyed seeing since season two is Trevor, the traction engine. While I was in the process of making this video, I expected it to be largely like the others and hear the same sort of story we do with most characters. And while inevitably some things are mirrored, Trevor has a surprising amount of history not only to his model, but behind his character as a whole. And today, as you guys decided in my most recent poll, that's what we're going to be talking about. So, as you likely could have guessed, being a Railway Series character, Trevor was created by the Reverend W. Audrey, and first appeared in the Railway Series book Edward the Blue Engine, which was published in 1954. His last appearance was in Thomas and the Twins, published in 1989. In terms of the television series, Trevor would reprise his role from the previous, that being in an episode called Saved from Scrap, which shares a name from the original book. And he's also appeared in several other stories written by various other writers. He usually appears as a major supporting character, and the last story to feature him as a main character was in the third series, that being in Edward, Trevor, and the Really Useful Party. However, since then, he hasn't taken a main role. Trevor is based on the William Foster & Co. 8-ton double crank compound general purpose traction engine, Wow, that was a mouthful. Which was built in 1927 and named the Fiery Elias, and was actually owned by the Reverend W. Audrey's friend, the Reverend Teddy Boston. He also owned a steamroller that later became George and Buster's basis. Boston's widow, Audrey, still owns Fiery Elias, so in real life, even today, Trevor lives. Unlike his basis, however, Trevor is depicted with a belly tank under his boiler, and is depicted as a single crank compound traction engine in Thomas and the Twins and the television series. Speaking of the television series, let's go ahead and jump into his models, starting with his small-scale model. Well, this model was built from brass to run on Styrofoam Road and was painted in a glossy car body paint. He was originally painted in a rusty yellow, however, for his debut episode. Just like the other models, it was more scaled to Gauge 1, and he had a total of 9 different facial expressions sculpted for him, although we would only ever see 8 on screen, one of which his drowsy face was left completely unused. Because of his smaller size and strange shape, Trevor did not feature an eye mechanism, and his eyes were molded onto his face with stickers being used for his pupils. In Season 3, his faces were reshaped with eye holes in slightly higher positions, and the model was finally fitted with a moving eye mechanism, making him the first non-rail vehicle to gain this. Instead of boring you guys with how the eye mechanism worked, with the up and down and left and right movement, or with how the faces were made, since you guys likely already know that, let's go ahead and jump into the modifications this model saw. In Season 3, the bronze circle on the front of his cylinder was painted silver, his red lining gained curves not present in the previous season. In Season 6, the silver circle on his cylinder was painted black, part of his smoke box changed from green to black, and the segmented red lining on his front axle changed to a solid red line. Finally, in Season 12, he was given his matte finish. However, past then he wouldn't see any other modifications, and the ones he did see were relatively minor. Trevor's television model is currently on display at Drayton Manor, or was on display at Drayton Manor, and wore his grinning face until it was removed in July of 2018. Unfortunately, I do not know where it's at as of now, likely somewhere in storage. From here, we jump into his large-scale model. A large-scale model of Trevor was created for the spin-off series Jack and the Sodor Construction Company, and was also used for close-up shots in the episodes Thomas and the Tuba, Henry and the Flagpole, and the learning segment being blue. Just like the last, this model was made out of brass. It worked with an eye mechanism that was just like the other, and surprisingly, this model only ever had one face made for it, this being made the exact same way as the others as well. I'm happy to report that Trevor's large-scale model, along with its face and its original controller for the eye mechanism, are now owned and preserved by Twitter user Thomas Tankmerch, and I'm happy to say the model is doing just fine, just like any prop they get their hands on. If only some others could relate. <clears throat> as we all know, in 2009, the show introduced CGI. This as a replacement for the show's long-standing live-action models. Trevor was made in CGI by Nitrogen Studios, with his model being hand-sculpted in Maya, a 3D animation and modeling software. Photographs of Trevor's small-scale model were used for referencing, but like any character who transitioned into CGI, he inevitably and at some point saw some modifications. These include in Season 15, when the front of his water tank became black, 
the bottom part that connects his smoke box to his wheels became fully black, and the lighting on his front axle changed in style. In Season 20, the front of his water tank reverts to its previous livery, and his whistle sound changed to share that of Hurricanes, and then in Season 22, or more seeing is believing I guess, his whistle sound is changed again and he reuses Vinny's whistle, so kinda like the other characters, the CGI series cannot figure out a whistle to save their lives. But that ladies and gentlemen is the history of Trevor, and hopefully you figured out a little bit more about it, and leave this video with a little more knowledge than you came with. If you guys did, or just enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe for even more trained content, there's always more stuff on the way, and be sure to comment down below who you guys would like to see next, and I'll do my best to add it to the next poll. As always guys, thanks again for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.